And just <laughs> real quick too, this side camera, do we want it more of like a, a, a side shot or do we want it just, how, how do you want this angle? Does it matter? He's doing this head on and then that one kind of off to the side. Right. Yeah. You guys are pros. New normal. Yeah, new normal. <laughs> you guys want to do a clap for the cameras? We'll sync. Everything about quarantine and this pandemic and COVID has been unexpected. Of course, it's very difficult, it's very sad, it's very stressful. But I think the silver lining here is that we're all starting to realize what matters in life. No, six feet, six feet, six feet, six feet. This has been really tough for everyone all over the world. And I think it's really odd and unique in some ways that it somehow has brought the world together in a lot of ways. So I want to at least take something away from this to where I feel I achieved something or, or I improved somehow, whether that's my relationships with my friends or my family or my dogs. <laughs> to be honest with you, when it happened, I thought, okay, each day is going to crawl by. I'm going to be losing my mind by day four. And the first month flew by so fast. Grand champion, baby! You yeah. come home and getting to spend time with family, not feel like you're being lazy. The government has mandated that you stay home and have an excuse. <laughs> what does the winner get? Well, the winner gets an ego. An ego. All right. Lucy knows about the ego. Oh, yeah, let's get a copy of that. It, it has been a, a blessing. It's been the break that I know my brother and I have needed for a long time. We're just setting up for the fan club performance today. Um, this is my studio, but it is a damn mess right now. But, you know, that's what happens in quarantine when you have to film your own stuff. We're looking forward to getting back out on the road, though. I can tell you that. We miss our fans. We miss performing. I got the views if you got the light. I got the all if y'all got the night. Sean and I have been in quarantine together this whole time. We would have been in Edinburgh tonight, so it's kind of fitting that we would be performing a little show for you guys. But we're gonna play you some songs. We miss you guys. We wish we were on the road with you yeah, so bad. I mean, this is honestly driving us crazy, as I'm sure it is you all. We have a group of people that we've been isolated with. I hate to use the word quarantine because it's so intense, but we've really been in isolation with each other. There's a, a guest house that uh, my sister is renting. And then John and Lucy. So we got mom here. Hello. <laughs> she was adamant to have her red cover matching her red shirt. In the middle of all this, we decided to quarantine with our mom. She loves us, we love her, we really want to see her. So she'll come and hang out, but we keep our distance, no kissing, no sharing food or anything like that, no hugging. You know, obviously we could easily watch a movie in the house, but there's just something, I don't know what it is about that extra step of a drive-in movie that just kind of feels nostalgic or something, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's romantic. <laughs> I'm not that great at cooking, but I can make some good eggs. We gotta chop these peppers. We're very fortunate, in fact, we get to do what we love for a living. However, it is kind of sad when we think about other things. We don't do very much else other than that. They always look like really evil, scary monsters. The teeth. Johnny O's quarantine eggs and pancakes. So learning how to cook a, a really, really good steak has been really fun for me. We'll stuff some hollandaise, being the Romero boys, we gotta have some crab meat on top of there. Dinner is served. What are you making, Lulu? I'm making spaghetti, bolognese, meat sauce, as you would call it here. A dreamy dinner wonderland. But now that we're forced to be at home, people are finding creative ways to entertain themselves. My next endeavor, a one button dimmer switch. A byproduct of that is that we're learning these incredible skills. Um, which obviously will take on with us forever. You must also wear the proper footwear when doing any home DIY. Look at this, ooh, mood lighting. John has been working really hard and it's gotten some incredible paintings. looking 
forward to being a part of CMT Heroes and CMT Artists of the Year. Um, we've been setting up these cameras around the house and doing performances. It was really intense because we had to obviously do all the lighting and all the video and audio ourselves. So we thought we were going to mess it up at any point in time. It was just all going to come falling apart. It's TJ operating the camera. Um, these are the lights we set up with some pretty high-tech bandanas uh, for <laughs> light filtration. And this is our interviewer right now who is napping on the job, Barley. that we get to honor some of our colleagues is amazing, but most importantly, getting to honor uh, the frontline workers during the quarantine and COVID is very, very special to us. And we're very honored, very grateful. It, it definitely was one of those moments where it makes what we do just feel really insignificant, but then you do remember in those moments the power of music and that people do need that to help them through the things they're going through. Conferencing to wish our, our uh, brother-in-law Chris right here uh, his 48th birthday, and uh, that's our our mom and and our brother and our cousins, baby daddy. Oh my God! Yay! That was a good one. All right, Chris, this is your moment. You're on CMT. It's your moment. Go. About time somebody recognize a real. <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday! So here we are, it's Mother's Day. Um, I'm about to take my mom some flowers. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Oh, thank you. Wait a minute. <laughs> three weeks ago. It was really, really sad because she's been isolating by herself. Our mom's dog passed away unexpectedly, and it was really heartbreaking, honestly. You could tell that she was having a really hard time. Yeah. And I felt like Mother's Day was the first time where she really had bounced back. My mom's giving us a flower Happy presentation Mother's on Mother's Day. I mean, thank you. What does it say? It says, I got this from my favorite kid. <laughs> That's true. That's what it says. Uh, debatable. Our schedules usually are so demanding. We don't typically have a lot of time to spend with the people we want to, and, and we've had that now. And so trying to find those silver lining moments in all of this has been a really beautiful thing for us, and that's been one of them, for sure. You're around. Being able to be yeah. just around her, uh, that you could just tell the energy just kind of came back into her soul. and. It was, a, it was just a beautiful day in so many ways. These are my five. <laughs> five children. There's no one that believes in the Brothers Osborne and her kids more than that woman. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Happy Mother's Day to me. <laughs> uh, star of the show. All night. Get, 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 get the feeling all night. <laughs> you have off every radio station and tell them. What would you tell them? You need to play the all night Brothers Osborne song because it's very contagious. Yeah. Although I don't say contagious or infectious because of Yeah, we don't want to say the word contagious. <laughs> all night. Get, 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 get the feeling. <laughs> Quarantine is, is a strange existence that I don't think anyone could have ever planned for. It's given us a lot of time to reflect on the things that are important, it's the people that are, that are close to you. I think we're definitely more in touch with each other and ourselves than we ever have been before. It's a beautiful night here in Nashville, quarantining. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. We did it. Off. I mean, did we? I don't know. <laughs>